and uh, we're back. Um, picked up some supplies to go with it as well. I pointed out the kilogram of ABS filament there. I have a kilogram of PLA filament there. These are both three millimeter. Um, to help get the stuff to stick to the bed, aside from the heated bed and the borescalate glass, which was another upgrade, um, I got PTE tape, one eighth and two inch. This came with the kit. This I ordered extra and uh, came in handy for the uh, that thermistor. That's one piece of two inch wide PTE tape. I also got PTE sheeting to uh, coat the bed with. Uh, you put a sheet of that on and then you take some cut up uh, ABS filament and mix it with uh, acetone to get a little solution and that puts like a, a light glue to glue the ABS down to the bed. Ah, uh, one more thing. I'm going to edit this in here. Um, the only other extruded part that gave me an issue, actually two of them did, first is this drive uh, gear. It looks a little discolored relative to this one. I'm not certain what the story is there, but there's a little bit of lash between the two. Now, this drives the uh, filament down into the uh, hot end, so I think it's only going to go positive. Uh, so I don't think it's going to give me any trouble like I'm going to lose something in a lash, because I don't think this thing goes forward and backs up or anything like that. I think it just drives forward. I'm at the extreme end of my slide adjust there, so I can't get it in any tighter. Um, these pulleys will be one of the first things I print, um, so I can replace them right off and get this just taken care of. You can adjust the size, like increase it to 103% or something like that, just to make it a little bigger so it'll mesh in better. Um, one other printed part gave me trouble. And that's uh, the fan kit came with a fan for the ramps board. These are the drivers for the stepper motors, and you can see those little heat sinks that came on them. Well, this here is a fan that goes in that hole, uh, that hole, and that hole, and gets mounted right like that. Well, the problem is we have wire here. It's like they designed it without realizing we got wire that needs to be taken care of. And there isn't really enough space behind here to cover the wire. And the holes are not deep enough going in to uh, actually thread a screw in. They only go to about that far right there. And the diameter is the same diameter as an M3. So this part here, uh, good idea. Uh, legs need to be a little longer to allow for the wire, and the hole needs to be a smaller diameter and uh, deeper to allow for the hardware that they provided me with. I uh, wanted to cover a couple of things that I left out of the other clips. Um, this kit included some niceties. Um, there's a reflective pad under here. It's like an aluminum pad that's insulated on the bottom to help reflect the heat from the heater uh, bed here, the heated bed, up to the glass. So it's reflecting the heat off of our aluminum plate down here and directing it up. Um, I mentioned the LED lighting that they're providing. Um, that's all covered in the instructions. Some of the, the one thing they're lacking is uh, documentation on this. It's like they, they did their documentation, upgraded several things, and then kind of forgot to update the documentation. Their documentation is the, the videos. That's a 3D printer girl right there. And uh, she goes through explaining things and step by step all the way through the frame construction but doesn't do the wiring. All the pictures they show show it without wiring so you don't have a good example or direction on how to do all the wire routing like down through there. I, I kind of experimented. I did it probably four different times which was what made it so time-consuming and figuring out how to 
secure the wires and get everything nice and free so that as things move around, the uh, you're hearing the filament on the uh, roll up here. I like their dispenser. Um, that's a great idea, bearings and all. The problem is, sometimes in shipment, your uh, spool breaks. So I got a bad spool here for the PLA. So I don't know if that is going to work all that well. I might have to cut a disc and screw it on the end of that spool in order to uh, get it to work on this. But um, they included acorn nuts to cover all the 8 millimeter rod. It's like this is the uh, idler wheel for the y-axis and it was just bare threads. They included an acorn nut. They included acorn nuts up here to cover the end of the z-axis rod and acorn nuts on the end here. So there's no exposed threaded rod anywhere, which is nice. I mean, it's, it's something extra they didn't have to do, but there's a lot of things like that in here. It's, uh, I'm very satisfied with this kit. Um, the build area is rather large as uh, 3D printers go. So I'm really looking forward to getting this up and running and seeing what I can do with it. So, let's see. What's next? On Monday, I get my uh, replacement parts and uh, we can start using this. More as it happens.